We made it. We're in Edmonton International Airport. I made it where though? Huh? We made it to the airport. You made it to the airport. I'm like, where are we making it? <laughs> uh, security was uh, pretty good. I think the guy recognized me though because I went through everybody. Whole lineup. Jen, how was your experience? It was alright. Where are you going? You got expedited. I had to wait in a half an hour lineup and take off my shoes. That's the worst part. I hate taking off my shoes. Sorry. Yeah, but he recognized me. I'm from YouTube, man. Come on. I'm a YouTube star. Wasn't uh, very busy though. Hey, Jen? Yeah, I thought it was going to be busier, but it's not bad. I think we just missed the rush of going to security. That's all. Yeah. Uh, never traveled uh, during Christmas time before. I thought it was going to be a lot busier. But it's not. So we have your passport ready in your What's boarding up? pass for the agent. We thank you for flying with us today. Got my hat on. Free advertising. Right? <laughs> At this time, group eight customers are welcome to board on 5729. So, it's minus eight in Edmonton and snowing. So, and when we're flying to Phoenix, what was the temperature in Phoenix? 25. 25 in Phoenix. Woohoo! Hey? I should have packed more shorts. <laughs> what? I should have packed more shorts. Can you see so? Yes. Well, I brought only two pairs of shorts. No. Three? Two. Three. Three. Four was the shorts. Sure. Um, but yeah, I can't wait to feel the heat from the sun because it's snowing, it's cold. We're going out of gate number 82, which is behind me. Uh, we're just having a Chili's burger. Well, I'm having a burger. You're going to have a salad, right? Jen's going to have a salad. I'm going to have a burger because we're both starving, right? And then how long is the flight? A four-hour flight. Not bad, right? Three and a half, I think. Yeah. Three and a half. Yeah. All right. So, mad chilies at the airport. Okay. I ordered a bacon cheeseburger. All right. Take a look at this. Do you think maybe? They could spare a little bit more bacon on that. That'd be great. Shame on you, Chili's. And yes, this is going on YouTube. Hey, everybody. Made it to Phoenix, Jen. Hi. <laughs> Jen chose to walk. I'm on this thing here. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, this little, uh, what do you call this thing? It's an airport. It helps you move faster in the airport because look, Jen's still back there walking. And this thing just helps you move faster in the airport. Um, two and a half hour flight, so got here a little bit faster than we thought. Um, some turbulence, not much, but there was some. And you know, one thing they gotta work on though is getting people off the plane faster because I was way in the back of the plane and it took like 20 minutes after landing to get off. That's brutal. Where's Jen? Anyways, we'll come back soon. What's up, everybody? So, made it to uh, Phoenix. 
Uh, it was a two and a half hour flight. It wasn't too bad. Some turbulence. Um, and, it, you know, turbulence takes some getting used to for sure, right? <clears throat> but one thing they got to work on, though, is, is getting people off the plane faster because we landed and then it took about 20 minutes to get people off the plane. There's a plane landing, right? Uh, you're probably not going to be able to see it. But no snow. And from what I can see on uh, Facebook there with my friends posting videos, Edmonton is snowing pretty bad. So very lucky to uh, you know, be here. Enjoying, uh, it's going to be plus 18 tomorrow. So uh, really happy I'm here. Um, don't have anyone to shovel for me though. So I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but anyway, we'll come back soon. Hello! So we had breakfast this morning, right? Yeah. Didn't you make, didn't you already talk about that? Well, kind of. Okay. Um, I had two eggs, over easy on toast. <laughs> of course. Shredded hash browns, right? And uh, coffee, and actually the eggs were pretty good. Like they're up to your standards. They were up to my standards, yeah. Right. So we're at this place called Biosphere Two. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna check out this dome. Check it out. Okay, you ready to go in? Sure, but let's just say one thing, yeah. right? The lady just told us, and we're like, why is it Biosphere 2, where's Biosphere 1? Well, apparently the Earth is Biosphere 1. So this is a place called Biosphere 2, where they built it with all these tropical um, living spaces inside this dome. Yeah. People lived here for, I think, three years. Mm -hmm. So it was in Tucson. We're going to check it out. It's kind of neat. Yeah, so. thanks, Jen. So it was actually a 30-minute drive from our hotel. Uh, Google Maps was wrong, so I had to use my own GPS. So you ready to go in? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's do go. This. Okay, so we made it through. We bought our tickets. This is your guide. Well, it's like a brochure or whatever, right? Right. So we just have to walk through. We're here right now through these buildings. We used to walk this way, whoops, the wind. And we're gonna go all the way down until we get to actually the biosphere area. And then we're gonna hmm. have like a self-guided tour, they said. And then yeah. then we're gonna meet at 11.15 for a guided tour with a guy telling us a little bit more about Perfect. each of the buildings. Let's go. Okay, we're making our way to the entry point to this biosphere. I'll take a look around here. We got desert over there, desert over there, like pretty much everywhere. So we have booked uh, a tour. It's gonna take about uh, an hour and a half. I'm not gonna show the whole tour, but uh, We'll show you uh, the interesting parts of the tour, okay? This sunshine though is beautiful. I don't want to go back home to Edmonton. I just want to hang out here all day for the rest of my life in this heat. And uh, by the way, if I look fake today, it's because I got the sunglasses on. Ocean 
sea surface temperature. Ocean currents convey our boats. <laughs> Chlorophyll concentration. <laughs> so that means there's lots of green plants and stuff in those areas by Australia and New Zealand. I want that. I want that for my house. That's cool. Started our tour. It's really hot in here. We will not be coming back to that water. That's our next stop. So, referring to my notes from time to time, we've got folks who have folks that might need to get in. Okay. the CO2 that's causing global changes today. And if we lose our rainforest, we will lose the biodiversity. see down here. Each of those ecosystems has rain, um, the air blowers that we pass, it controls those. It controls the temperature of the water, hot, cold, and normal. And as you can see, it's a large machine, about the size of a train car. It's big, 